Hello friends, my name is Srinivas and I welcome you to my channel Coding Skills. As part of this program, we will learn how we can save a record in a database using a simple JDBC program. Let's see the program in detail. So these are the import statements that are required to perform the basic operation. So we need to import connection, driver manager, SQL exception statement. All these are from the SQL package. Once we have all the import statements are added, we need to establish a connection. And this is a one-time task for us. So we need to have the URL of the database, and the username, and the password. So I'm not explaining in detail for each and everything about the URL because I have already covered as part of my other video. I'll be giving a link on the top. So based on the information that we have, so we will be establishing a connection. So declare a connection variable with, with the default value as null and we need to load the driver class. So right now I'm using Postgres database and so we need to load the driver which is specific to the Postgres. In case if you are trying with a different database, you need to mention the appropriate driver class name with the complete package. So once the class loaded successfully, it's a time to establish a collection. So connection equal to driver manager dot get connection. So you need to supply the username, URL, and the password, all three values. So once this statement executes successfully, which indicates that the connection established as expected. If something goes wrong, then this will go back to the catch block that we'll see down the line. Assuming that we got the connection created successfully, I'm printing a message notifying the user that connection is successful. Once the connection is successful, that's where we can perform all the operations tied into the database. So here I am declaring a statement, statement dash t equal to connection dot create statement. In order to perform any particular database operation, we need to create a statement. Then statement variable dot execute, and this is the actual query, which is specific to the database. So insert into this name of the table student and the columns in the table is student number name age and the values are some have, have just started with couple of values so once this statement executed means you will be seeing an additional record in database table with this information after inserting successfully i'm printing a message stating that the record saved successfully after that it is a developer responsibility to close the statement object whatever we have open suppose if there is anything goes wrong as part of the database connection so you will see these exceptions for so sql exception and the class not found exception class not found exception will be thrown whenever there is any issue with the class dot for name that we have used in this particular line let's say the driver class is invalid or the, suppose the jar file is missing it cannot identify the driver so those kind of issues it will fall into this exception block. In either case, we are printing a just a stack trace to understand what exactly is the root causes. Suppose if you want to have a more detail of handling, we can query it accordingly in the cache block. The final is a common block which will be executed when the piece of code executed from the try block or the cache block. So finally is the place to release all the resources which are specific to the database operations in this program. So we are supposed to close the connection. So if you observe here, there is a if condition. If the connection is not null, that means if the connection was opened successfully in the previous execution, that means we are supposed to close that particular connection. We are just closing the connection and printing a message notifying the user that the connection is closed. And here, if you observe, though there is a single statement, still we are wrapped inside a try cache block. The reason is this statement is going to throw an SQL exception. Hence, we are supposed to handle within the try cache block. So let's run the program. So, okay. First, I'll show you the database. What are the records which are existing before executing this particular program? So this is my database. I'm just refreshing here my database screen. We can see that six records are already inserted. So 
let's run this program because there is already six record is there that i'll be just inserting six one I'm running this particular program. So I record saved successfully. Let's go back to the database. Refresh the window. So record number seven with the information, whatever we have given, yes, saved successfully. Let's try to run the same program again. Let's see what happens. I'm clearing my console. So I'm insert, trying to insert the same information. So we should see some error. See that? So duplicate duplicate key value violates unique constraint student key. So student primary key. It is clearly giving information that student number seven already exists because this record was already saved in the previous execution, right? So that's where it's not allowing us to save with the the same value because student number is a primary key it cannot have duplicate values so this way we can cross check the exception handling so right now i have used a statement right so i'll just replace this piece of code with a prepared statement because statement statement which we have coded here let's say if you are trying to insert thousands of records so statement if you are going to use in that scenario, it is going to compile each and every time, which will take a lot of time consuming. So it is always recommended to go for a prepared statement instead of a statement when you are performing a bulk operations. I'll also show you that example. Prepared. On dot prepare statement prepare statement itself it will take the query so I'll be giving it here in the prepare statement we are not going to give values instead we are going to give a placeholders question marks so before executing so if you see here i'm also closing the user close if you observe the previous scenario there was a statement object which has the con dot create statement and then we were giving giving the query but in this prepare statement we need to prepare a statement by giving a query so this query is not going to be changed again and again for different set of additions Prepare statement is going to be pre compiled. Now we are supposed to set the values. Set first values. I'm going to use value 8. Second value. So here we have set the values for all these three placeholders. This is at the first place, second place, third place. Based on that, we have set the this is at the first place and second place and third place index we need to supply. So let's run this program with the prepare statement. So record saved successfully. If we go back to the database and try to refresh your window, you see that the record got inserted. So in case if you are looking for any other specific program, please do let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to make that program as early as possible for you. Thank you.